in the previous module we introduced the notion of Bayesian games and uh, 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 developed the basic notation in this module we are going to discuss about the strategy and the utilities of uh, uh, of the players in this game so as before uh, this is the the definition where uh, all these tuples are already explained and in particular we know that this uh, gamma of theta is a normal form game uh, which is uh, indexed by this theta uh, which is the type profile uh, realized uh, from the common prior now what is the strategy in this case so a strategy as before can be of two types either it can be pure in which case uh, it is a mapping from this theta i and the, the type set so of course um, the strategy may depend on which kind of type the player is in so uh, depending on the type it can choose an action so that is uh, this mapping is essentially the uh, uh, the plan uh, with which player i will play if uh, a specific uh, lowercase theta i has occurred or it can be a mixed strategy which means that uh, from the uh, from the uh, type profile it is mapping uh, to a uh, to the simplex of ai is a so sigma of theta i sigma i of theta i in that case will be a probability distribution over ai now the uh, in the Bayesian game, uh, in the last module, we have seen that there, there are chronological developments in which uh, the, the types realize and then players pick their actions and their utility realizes. So based on that, we can uh, define that uh, these uh, players, uh, where they can experience their utilities. So they can actually uh, experience their utilities in two stages, um, uh, whether they observe their type or they do not observe their, their type. So we will call this the utility which is realized before observing their own type as the ex ante utility for player i. So what, what does it mean that because the, the type has not realized even for the agent itself, uh, the, the utility uh, is, uh, is an expected utility over the whole theta vector. So let us uh, read this from, uh, from inside out. So ui of a, of a specific uh, sigma of theta, so this, this is actually sigma 1, theta 1, the top, uh, the, uh, the vector of all the sigma, sigmas, theta n, uh, this one, and similarly theta is the vector of all thetas, theta i's. So uh, once that is, that is given, uh, you know uh, what is the utility there. So these utilities are, uh, if there are mixed strategies, so these are expectation with respect to those uh, mixed strategies so uh, which is uh, expectation with respect to this randomization here but uh, at the same time these thetas are also unknown they are also random variables so we'll have to take an expectation with respect to that theta so but uh, in this case we are taking the expectation with respect to the whole vector theta because player i also does not know what uh, uh, its own type is Contrast this with, uh, yeah, so just to expand this out, you can actually uh, write it uh, in more explicit terms so that you uh, uh, can understand what is being uh, denoted here. So this, this term here is the, uh, uh, is the, ran uh, the result of the randomization over this delta of AI. Right? So for each player, uh, this number is actually being picked from AI and then uh, delta of AI and uh, then you take the product over all these players uh, who are in n and then summing over all possible pure strategies right? so this is uh, if you read it carefully you know you already know uh, this is the expansion of the uh, of the mixed strategies now you, after that you take the expectation with respect to theta now one crucial assumption here is that uh, this belief of player i uh, over others types changes after observing her own type so the moment you observe uh, this uh, uh, theta i uh, it also gives you some information about what the, the thetas are uh, for the other players right and that is uh, uh, that happens uh, in in this uh, bayesian game with respect to the bayes rule uh, on the on the common prior of p so this is very simple, I mean this is just uh, re uh, rewriting the, the Bayes rule. Uh, you look at your own type and then you have a perhaps changed uh, probability distribution over this theta minus size. Right? 
So here you can see that this positive marginal assumption is crucial because uh, if uh, there are certain uh, types for which the, the marginal probability is zero, then you cannot define it. The, the conditional probability is undefined. So therefore, for uh, uh, to define this uh, conditional probabilities, we need the marginals to be positive. Now, based on this, uh, the changed belief of, uh, of player i when he observes his own type uh, in theta i, uh, we can define this ex interim utility, which is the ex uh, expected utility after it has observed its own type. Uh, so, player, uh, for player i, it will be theta i. Right? So, now I can define this the same utility, uh, ui of sigma uh, given theta i after observing uh, theta i and therefore now instead of so we the innermost sum is still the same utility uh, but uh, now the expectation is taken with respect to this conditional probability uh, the conditional probability given theta i the distribution is over theta minus i only for a special case where these types are independent so in which case you can actually write this as p of theta minus i because uh, uh, you don't get anything different uh, when you condition over theta i's and then observing theta i does not give you any information about theta i's then this uh, both these utilities become the same but otherwise there is a, a very obvious relationship between these two utilities you take the uh, the probability so uh, this is the ex ante utility and this is the uh, ex interim utility uh, for player i uh, all that uh, you need to do is to take the expectation with respect to theta i uh, to get the ex ante utility. So let us look at some examples uh, to, to explain the idea of, uh, uh, of this Bayesian game. So let, let's say there are two players, one of them, player one, who is a seller, and it has a type uh, which is its private information that is the price at which he is willing to sell. Uh, so anything, any price, uh, if someone is willing to pay anything lower than that, then he will not uh, uh, sell that object. On the other hand, buyer has a uh, has a type which is the the, the maximum price uh, at which he is willing to buy. So anything more than that, he will not buy it. So now, uh, for simplicity, let us assume that this uh, both this type are actually coming from this set uh, from. Uh, uh, which are set of in integers from 1 to 100. Similarly, the actions that these players can pick can also be the same set of numbers. So this we will call as bids. Uh, so the, the seller says that I, uh, uh, I want to sell it at, at a particular price. Buyer uh, also says that this is the price that at which we, I'm willing to buy. And then certain things happen. Uh, of course, we know that if the bid of the seller is a smaller than or equal to that of the buyer so buyer is actually telling a higher price and seller is uh, uh, telling a lower price then the trade will happen and that uh, the trade will happen at a price which is the average of these two bids uh, in the other case when uh, sellers uh, asking price is actually larger than the uh, the, the maximum willingness price of the buyer, then the trade will not happen. We know this uh, from experience. Now let us uh, assume that uh, the, the type generation is uh, independent. So all these theta i's are uh, 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 independently generated and uniform uh, over this uh, sets theta 1 and uh, capital theta 1 and capital theta 2. So every number here is equally likely to occur. So therefore, you can write the, the conditional probability which uh, reduces to just the unconditional probability uh, which is 1 by uh, 100 for all theta 1 and theta 2 and similarly this is the same thing is true for all uh, for, for player 1 as well. Now what is the utility in this case? We have said that if this, uh, so these are the actions, so you can think of these are the bids that uh, player 1 and player 2 has uh, placed. And uh, if this uh, uh, this uh, uh, asking price of uh, that is the uh, the bid of the buyer is actually larger than the bid of the seller, then the trade happens, and that the price that uh, this uh, the seller so uh, note that player one is the seller, uh, it is getting this amount of money, and uh, this is the uh, 
you can think of this as the cost price. This is the theta one at which he was manufacturing this product or purchased this product. So this difference is the net uh, payoff for the utility for this player. In the other case, the trade does not happen. Therefore, uh, the, the seller gets a zero payoff. And similarly, the, the other thing happens for the buyer. So buyer is actually getting a good which uh, uh, he or she values at theta two. That is the, the maximum value uh, at which you will be uh, willing to buy this object uh, and the price that was determined was a1 plus a2 by 2 and when the trade happens this is the this difference is the net payoff for player 2 in the other case it is also getting zero payoff now you can think of that this is actually getting generated from a common prior uh, where the the, uh, the distribution of uh, uh, of this theta 1 and theta 2 is 1 over 10,000 which is I mean in this case it is uh, independent therefore you can write it down as p theta 1 times p theta 2 so so that is the common prior here the second example is that of a sealed bid auction so let's say uh, there are two players and both of them are willing to buy an object and their values so by value we mean that that is the price the maximum price at which they are willing to uh, they will purchase this object and the bids uh, both are living in this uh, closed interval 0 comma 1 now the allocation function uh, does it in the following way I mean this is a standard auction mechanism uh, it, it takes the bids from both these players and if first players bid is uh, at least as much as the second players bid so ties are broken in favor of player one and that was the same thing even in the previous example uh, then uh, player one is given this uh, object so the the allocation function so this is an indicator function uh, for player one uh, whenever it is uh, the the bid for player one is at least as much as player two uh, he is the winner and uh, if the other thing happens then player two is the winner so this is the allocation you can think of this is the allocation function for player two now the belief here in, in this case we have assumed uniform uh, distribution so given theta 1 theta 2 is uh, uh, 1 for the for the entire interval and similarly uh, similarly the same thing for player 2 and uh, and the common prior in this case is also uniformly distributed so this is also very similar the the distribution of the types are very similar to the previous example the utility is a little different now here uh, assuming that every agent uh, whoever wins pays the bid that uh, it has placed then what can happen is uh, so we can uh, write the utilities concisely in the following way oi of b1 comma b2 so this function is actually telling us who is uh, going to be the winner if the if player i is going to be the winner or not it becomes one in, in case uh, player i wins otherwise it does not and if player i wins then uh, that player gets the item uh, uh, which it values theta i but he is paying the bid of bi so the the difference in this case is the net payoff uh, or the utility for this player and uh, this is going to be the utility of this player. So this is the representation of the utility in this particular Bayesian game.